This is Duke University. I'm Nick Gessler, PhD in Anthropology. Welcome to the Media Arts and Sciences Complex Systems Lab. I teach a course in espionage, cryptology, and psychological operations. This collection is fairly representative of the history of cryptographic devices from, say, the 1600s on up through uh, the Second World War and the Cold War. Here's a device that was used in the Second World War. We could spell out a message in clear text on one line, and then you would turn it around and pick any other seemingly random line and send that as the code. The other person would have these disks in the same order. They'd set up the scrambled message along one line, and they'd turn it around until they saw a clear English sentence. This French cipher disk was made by Nicolas Bion, who was the maker of mathematical instruments to King Louis XIV. As far as I can tell, it's the earliest cipher device uh, that I've seen in any museum. This is a rotor out of the German Enigma, which uh, essentially spawned all the research on computing. This was a bad idea, but a very nice looking desk piece. You would encrypt a consonant with a consonant and a vowel with a vowel. If you had a letter that started out dear somebody, you could pretty easily figure out that the first word was dear. So these are patterns that you really don't want to have. Getting into an electromechanical devices, this is the first uh, rotor device. Every time you press a key, even if it's the same key, you'd end up with a different encrypted letter. As an anthropologist, by studying what goes on in the intelligence community, you begin to question the literal truth of various people's perceptions of how things work. I think it's very informative for anyone who wants to understand politics today or societies that they might want to study. Produced by Duke University.